The Ricoh GR3 is often called the king of street photography. It's highly respected in the street photography community for its compact size, amazing image quality and advanced features. But is its quality limited to just street photography or is it way more versatile than we think? I've used this camera outside of the street photography realm and let me tell you, it performs impressively. So here are 10 photography genres where the Ricoh GR3 or the Ricoh GR3X proved to be an excellent choice. I've saved my personal favorite genre for number 10 on this list. Oh, and at the end of this video, as you have chosen, I will do 50 push-ups. So let's start with genre number one, which is documentary photography. The Ricoh GR3 is discreet and it has fast autofocus, making it ideal for capturing candid moments and telling visual stories. It produces high resolution images and it's great at low light situations, so you can tell stories under very difficult circumstances. What also makes it quite suitable for documentaries is that the camera is small and low key. And in documentary photography, you often work with people who are not used to be on camera and having a big professional looking camera can really alter the way the people behave. And this is not a, look, I made a video about the GR and now I have to come up with some bullshit about why this is good. No, the Ricoh GR is actually a great camera for documentary photography. Moving along to genre number two, which is travel photography. The lightweight design and excellent image quality of the Ricoh GR3 make it a great companion for capturing travel moments. The 28mm equivalent lens enables you to capture landscapes, architectural details, street scenes, portraits of people, all these different uh, challenges travel photography will bring you, the GR will have an answer for it. What's also great is that when you visit the places where professional cameras with big lenses are not allowed, you will probably be able to sneak your GR in. And nobody would expect that you can take gallery quality photos with this little hobby looking camera. Oh. Genre number three is macro photography. And although the Ricoh GR3 doesn't have a dedicated macro lens, it does have a nice close-up focusing capability that lets you capture detailed close-up shots. You can get up close to small subjects like flowers or insects or different textures. And of course it's not true macro photography, but it does allow you to showcase details that might otherwise be missed in a photo. Surprise! And before we continue, let's be realistic. Of course there are cameras better suited for each genre in this list. In landscape photography, for instance, you would really want weather sealing and true macro photography requires a dedicated macro lens. And if National Geographic sends you to the dark side of the moon to document the people who are living there, you probably want dual card slots. However, my message is that you shouldn't have to limit yourself to one genre only based on the gear you have. And the Ricoh GR is just an amazing camera that excels at various types of photography. And that's the call to action in this video. Explore photography and have some fun. Now, let's move on to genre number four, which is lifestyle photography. This captures portraits of people in real life situations or events in an artistic manner. And even though lifestyle photography has a natural and informal style, lighting and posing still play a significant role in achieving all those captivating Instagram shots. And the Ricoh GR is very well suited for this type of photography. Better yet, the Ricoh GR is a camera with an almost cult-like status that would really shine inside of your lifestyle photos as well. People like taking selfies with their GR. Genre number five is wedding and event photography. The compact size, quick autofocus and silent shooting mode of the Ricoh GR make it pretty decent for capturing moments at parties, conferences and social gatherings without drawing too much attention or disrupt the atmosphere. You can capture the details, the tight shots, the wide perspectives and everything in between at weddings and events. And people who think that the autofocus of the GR is not that good at low light, they really have to learn using the snap focus distance. This is your late night party photo best friend. And if you don't know what snap focus is, it stands for supernatural automatic picture focus on creative, unexpected subjects. <laughs> I'm interested to hear how you use your Ricoh GR for non-traditional street photography. Do you use it as a dedicated street photography camera or do you explore different types of photography as well? 
let me know in the comments below. Moving on to genre number six, landscape photography. While the Ricoh GR's lens may not be as wide as some dedicated landscape lenses, it still offers wide angle perspective that can capture beautiful landscapes, cityscapes and seascapes. And there's even a small, very nice little Uh, filter kit from Nisi and it does make for a very nice compact uh, landscape photography setup and it doesn't get more lightweight than this. I also made a video about the combination between the GR3 and this Nisi, Nisi filter kit together with my friend Mike Meiserbelt. I have uh, linked it right here and after seeing the dynamic range and the amount of detail in the GR, Mike, my friend, he actually bought a GR after that. So uh, nice going Mike. Genre number seven is fashion photography. And even supermodel Bella Hadid carries a Ricoh GR as her everyday camera. The GR is very well suited for fashion photography because it captures character, style, and it has a specific vibe. And same as with lifestyle photography, the GR itself has become somewhat of a fashion item. Just ask Bella Hadid. Now, if this video feels like a sales pitch for the Ricoh GR, well, that's because it is. I am a Ricoh GR ambassador and I get paid exactly zero bucks for making this video. I just thought it would be nice to discuss other genres other than the traditional street photography where of course the Ricoh GR really shines. And if it sounds like I am selling you something, well, that's not the case. It's just that I am a fan, I like the camera and I think that it's very well suited for other types of photography as well. So that's... A small disclaimer. Number eight on our list is food photography. Did you know that food photography is actually a pretty big genre? There are more people making a living from food photography than from street photography. And for food photography, you often want consistency. Using a prime lens is a good advice for food photographers. But you also probably want colors that pop, high resolution images, and the dynamic range of the camera. Well, yeah, 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 you know, the Ricoh GR. The second to last genre is number nine on this list, EDC or everyday carry. If you want a camera that you can carry with you every day, the Ricoh GR is a nice choice. Whether you want to document your daily life, take family portraits or explore your creative side, the GR's compact size is just perfect. And the amazing built-in presets make it convenient. You can achieve great results without spending too much time in the post-processing, which is nice if you shoot a lot of photos every day. I made a video about the presets you can check it out over here and finally genre number 10 and also my current favorite genre besides street photography portrait photography although the rico gr3 is not considered a portrait camera due to its fixed wide angle lens it can still produce striking portraits the wide angle perspective in the rico gr3 allows for unique compositions and environmental portraits and street portraits uh, with a sense of context the rico gr3 x shines even more in this area i feel like you can actually take very decent portraits with the Ricoh GR3X together with the tele lens. And if you are interested in a video about this comp 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 combination, I made a video and you can check it out right here. In last week's video, I performed a rap. And I also discussed the ugly truth of hate and envy in photography. And if you haven't seen it yet, just go and uh, go over here and check it out. But before you go and do that, as promised, let's do some push-ups and let's make a deal. If I can do 50 push-ups in a row, you subscribe and give it a like. Thanks for watching. Peace. Tanto, tanto